Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. If you want to train a style again to network on your custom data set and build an image generator out of it, then you are looking at the right video. In this video, you will learn a step by step guide to train style again to network on your custom data set. So let's get started. NVIDIA Lab has this repository which is open source and you can use it to build your custom StyleGen2 network and we are going to use it as well. It is available on PyTorch version. This PyTorch version is said to be faster than the TensorFlow. In this tutorial, we are going to use this biked dataset to generate our biked images. I have created a Python notebook. You can find the link to get this notebook and a small, very small 10 image subset of this biked dataset on my Google Drive and the link for it is in the description of this video. The first thing we need to do is we need to change the run type because uh, this requires a GPU. So we need to change the runtime to GPU and save it. So it will connect to a runtime. Meanwhile, it gets connected. We need to connect our Google Drive as well. For that, I need to run this code and it will mount the Google Drive. It will ask for verification of my email address. Yeah, my Google Drive is mounted. Let me refresh that. Yeah, I can see that. And if I go here in my drive, I can find the style again portion here. Okay. Now, the first thing we need to do is clone the Git repository. Then CD into that repository. Let's make sure we are inside the repository. Yeah we are then we need to uninstall the existing pytorch version on uh, this environment cause this repository says that you need a pytorch version 1.7.1 so we will install that this will take some time meanwhile this is installed on my runtime. I would like to show you that you can get every information available for this Git repository here on the readme section, how to generate new images, uh, how to prepare your data set and how to train a new network as well. I have learned everything I'm showing in this video through this Git repository. You can see it has successfully installed uh, the version of torch 1.7.1 i uh, don't worry about this small warning now there is also some other dependencies that we need to install and we will install that here sorry in the cell Meanwhile, I'll copy the path of my small subset of biked dataset. You can see it has only 10 images and obviously it's for demonstration purpose. Here in the Python dataset tool pi, if in case you want to get more help, then You can use this help flag to get all the information that this file can do. Here, I'll provide my source directory and my destination will be content dataset.zip file and I'll use a width and height of 128, 128. Make sure you use a square image. 
let me run this meanwhile let me minimize this so we can see that the data set is created okay so we have this data set dot zip file let me remove this now we will dry run uh, the setting and the data set so let me do that yeah i think it went successful and you can read uh, all the information about how it's going to be performed so image size is 128 and there are 10 images uh, there is one gpu available on this runtime so here i'll do the training obviously this training is going to uh, be long so i'll be resuming this video once uh, the training reaches at a stage where i can explain more about it a small quick update here that the training has started on gpu obviously and you can see it takes around 256 seconds per kimg and previously it was uh, 25,000 kimg so i looked into the train.py file and i found that there is uh, indeed an argument kimg which you can set for custom value of kimg so now it's going to uh, run for 10 kimg so i can get a result as well and show it to you and you can see i have provided this argument here so you can see that the training process or development process of the style gen 2 model on our custom bike data set is finished and there is a small note here that i have used a parameter called kimg as 10 just to you know shorten the training procedure but in case you want to get better accuracy you can you know uh, leave it as default and i got that information from this train.py file now during the training process it has created uh, this training runs folder inside which every run is another folder and you can see this folder uh, with the name kimg10 which is our custom 10 kimg value it has created that folder as well and inside that folder you will find all the information so you will find the rails png so that is used to train the network uh, fake init fake uh, 00 and fake 10 so after 10 kimg uh, how the uh, generated images looks uh, let me open it if it can open quickly okay meanwhile you can see it has created a snapshot dot pickle file and we can copy the path of that pickle file you can download it on your local machine or take it to a server anywhere and uh, you can see that i have written a code uh, which uses generate dot pi uh, it takes out directory and it take uh, this trunk and seeds so it will create uh, one image for 85 265 297 and 849 and it will take a network argument which is path to the pickle file so if i run this it will generate out directory here inside the content folder and it will generate for images if i refresh this we can see out directory and inside that we have this image i know it doesn't you know resemble anything any of the cycle but it's also due to the fact that we have run it for such a small amount of time so i i hope you understand that if you train the network for a longer period of time you will get better accuracy and better result so i guess this is it from this part of the video on my youtube channel uh, and i hope that you have gained some knowledge out of this video and you are able to now uh, train your style again on your custom data set and in case uh, you face any issue please get back to me into the comment section and the link for everything i have used in this video is available in the description section 
If you like my work, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps. Thank you for watching. Peace.